like a couple of baby birds. Yeah, and they seem upset. Ahem, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Yoo-hoo! You, you too, over here. Are you having some trouble? <laughs> Looks like they may be a little lost. She does never get lost. Now, Bo, getting lost is nothing to be ashamed of. It happens to everybody. Not cheers. Well, I think we can help. But first things first. What are your names? Dib and Dab. I think they might be twins, Mama. Well, I think you might be right, Maxie. Let me see here. A few more questions. Yeah, like how about where is your home? Mama, isn't there a home down the ground like everybody else? Not everybody lives on the ground, Max. It's about them. <laughs> okay, but only monkeys would ever live in a tree. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> no. Come on, we've got to help Dip and Dab find their home. They're so cute. Oh, brother. Carla's right. Their mom and dad are probably looking for them right now. Can you tell us what your home looks like? Oh, sorry, you lost me. Let's see if we can figure this out. What kinds of places do animals live? Does anyone know some place where animals live? Hey, what about water? Animals live in the water, don't they? Well, sure. That's one big place they live. But if you just think a little, there are really three. The water, the ground, or high up in the air. And I just may have some movies to show us the amazing variety of homes there are. Mama's got movies of just about every kind of animal and animal home there is. Aha, here we are. Slightly soggy shelters. Thanks for keeping an eye on it, Carlos. live in the water. Okay, everybody ready? Fireflies, light it up. Dib and Dad, keep your eyes open for some place that looks like home. See, many, many different kinds of animals live in the water. Whoa, that's a lot of fish. Yes, sir. What we're looking at now is called a coral reef. It's made of the bodies of millions and millions of little animals like those there. And lots of animals live in and around it, kind of like an undersea apartment building. And there are all sorts of other homes in the ocean. This hermit crab is going out for a stroll, and he's taking his house with him. He lives in old shells other animals leave behind. And lots of other animals live in the open ocean and just love swimming around. Take a look at these dolphins. Whoa, dolphins! Ah, and see? My old buddy Seymour the sea turtle lives in an old shipwreck. 
It's all so pretty. But none of these are birds, Mama. Right you are. The birds live in or near the water, too. Oh, look! There are some birds right there. You were right. Hey, everybody. Duck. <laughs> <laughs> so, Div and Dab, any of those homes look familiar? <laughs> okay, well, there are plenty more where that came from. Let's see now. Aha! Living off the land. Dib and Dab, take a look at these animal homes on and in the ground. Whoa! The savannah! Yep. The savannah is another place a lot of animals live. Many of them on the ground. The cheetah! And zebras! <laughs> hey, where are they going? Well, some animals don't live in just one place. Their home is more of a big area, so they spend a lot of time roaming around from place to place. Like those elephants! Where's that snake going? That hole is his home. A lot of animals that live on the land actually live under it. They dig holes called burrows, like these little meerkats. Look out behind you there, little buddy! <laughs> <laughs> and others, like otters or wolves, live in homes called dens. Dens can be caves or hollow logs or even upside-down tree stumps. And some animals build their own homes, like this termite mound. That thing is big! Yup, some termite mounds are even taller than a giraffe. And birds can build their own homes on the ground, too, like these mallyfowls. Did those birds look like relatives of yours? I don't know, Mama. There's so many different kinds of animal homes. Yep, but with all their differences, they have a lot in common. Home is always a place we live with those who care for us. A place where we sleep and eat, and a place where we always feel safe. Yeah, you never thought of it that way. Okay, well... We've got one more movie, remember? There were three. Water, land, and... High up, high up, high up in the air! Great, Maxie. Critters and Creatures, I proudly present Homes High Up. There ought to be a lot of birdies here, kids. These lovebirds have quite a homey little knot hole in this tree. Cool. <laughs> Birds are really good at building their homes, too. Oh, and check out these weaver birds' nests. They make them themselves out of grass and twigs. That right there is Dennis. Whoa, they look like bags or something. Birdie baggies. Pretty cozy looking, right? Yeah. Um, hey, I think we're getting warmer. The birds aren't the only ones who live up high. Other animals like these furry fellows like to sleep up off the ground. That way, nobody bothers him while they're snoozing loosely. Mm, he don't look pretty comfy. I'll say. And I think I have some footage of another one of the most interesting home builders. This bird doesn't build their nest out of grass or twigs, but out of mud. I love mud! <laughs> I know you do, Max. And these birds do, too. They're called cliff swallows, and they build homes high up on cliffs out of mud. I think our new friends are trying to tell us something. What is it, boys? Something about those cliff swallows? Yeah. Mama, I think, I think Dip and Dab are cliff swallows. Oh. Hey, you know, I think there are some cliffs over by the riverbed. Come on. Feel as good as a tomato bug in an Italian restaurant. 
feels nice helping someone, don't you think, Carla? Yeah, and we can always come and visit. Right, Mama? Right, Carla. <laughs> Bye! See you on the Savannah!